Anyway, tonight, we got a good show for you tonight. We have a uh, startlingly talented lady, Bernadette Peters, is here tonight. <laughs> Here is uh, Bernadette Peters is with us now. She is one of the most highly respected actresses in the musical theater today, and uh, she will be appearing at the Greek Theater with Peter Allen tomorrow night, the 28th of July. Then she goes to Toronto, where she opens on August the 4th, and then the Desert Inn in Las Vegas starting the 24th of August. Would you welcome, please, Bernadette Peters. <laughs> This song is written by Marilyn Miller and Cheryl Hardwick. <clears throat> A log thrown on the fire, two profiles met as one. One, the igniting of desire in the air. But when there's just one profile, and yet desire goes, despite the fact there's no one else to care. Must romance be abandoned as it's fanning its own flame, waiting to burst full blown? No. There's a special kind of bliss not engendered by a kiss, surreptitiously indulged in, less well known. For when one cannot make love with another, one can still make love alone. <laughs> There's a certain special magic to the touch of your own hand, and a special thrill knowing that you will for sure soon be feeling grand, and a tender swell of rapture. You don't have to try to postpone, that's what it's like when you're making love. Oh, the sweet, sweet sound of your own breathing as the sky turns pale pink to hot. And a special thrill knowing that you will not catch, God only knows what. It's the kind of love that fits hand in glove and burst like a bottle blow, that's what it's like when you're making love alone. Describe the special sweetness of knowing the speed that you're going is right. And is there anything as thrilling as trying to keep the book open to page 24 all night? Are we assuring to know when it's finally time to go that you'll still be there when you leave? And as dawn is breaking, you hear yourself making a date. The kind of love that fits hand in glove, especially when the glove is your own. <laughs> For the day who you can see their faces, the one of the best places, who'll never ask your sign on the telephone, know your for sign. To do the simple magic of making love, not taking, faking, or mistaking. Making love alone, say what come on, that's what it's like when you're making love alone. Alone. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I, uh, can I see a copy of those lyrics? I, uh, I, could, I couldn't hear all of them over here. Have I got, is, is, would you call that a racy? Oh, I guess so. A, a racy I guess song? It's, it's a, or a lonely song. A, lo it's a lonely song. <laughs> oh, it's a lonely heart song, yeah. How are you? I'm just fine. You're a marvelous yeah. performer. Oh, You're great to watch. You. Oh, it's great to be here with you. Yeah, is this just vacation you. time for you? Well, oh, no, you're going. Theater, Tomorrow of course. night I'm at the Greek, yeah. yeah. But since I was here, what, since I was here last time, I went to um, a wedding, not my own. It was your girlfriend who got my married. My girlfriend got married. Right. And I was the maid of honor at this very, very elaborate wedding at the Bel Air Hotel.
-hmm. And um, what's the maid of honor supposed to do? Well, the day of the wedding. Well, you well, you know, I felt really bad because I live in New York and the wedding was out here, so I couldn't do things like give her a shower and stuff like that because yeah. I wasn't here. Right. But the, the day of the wedding, I spent the whole day with her, and she went and got her makeup done, and she yeah. went and got her hair. And you have to wear, you know, her color, which was peach. So right. I had to get a dress for this uh, this wedding. And usually you get a dress that you can't ever wear again. And I didn't want to do that, this big dress that was, you know, stuck yeah. in the closet. So I went and I had to have this special dress made, which I did. I went to a designer in New York, Giorgio di San Angelo, and I had this dress, Gosh. yes. Big and stuff. Uh, I, I went to the wedding and I, I put the dress on because we got, you know, I spent the day with her, so we got dressed at the suite and I put the dress on. And this dress is, I don't know what's wrong with it, if the waist is this big and and I had to take a sash they sent me, and I actually I had to. What happened was I had to dress down. That's it. Doesn't it come with them directions or something? Well, it didn't. No, I, put, I had tied it up with a sash, and I said to this friend who was with me, "How does the dress look?" And he said, "Well, it looks a little skimpy." He said. And it was on upside down. Well, it was a two-piece dress, and I went to the place where I got it, and they said, "My dear, you have the dress on upside down." Usually, you know, from well, imagine how stupid I felt. You know? <laughs> Really foolish. No, usually, you know, it was a two-piece dress. Usually the yeah. longest part is from here to the waist. I would think so, yeah. Now, on this dress, I guess it was from here. Here was the longest part. <laughs> which I should have put over my head, I, I think, because there's lots of photos. Yeah, you could have. there forever. You could have been a smash there with a, reversing the whole thing. I could have been a smash. I should have reversed the did whole thing. Did you catch the bouquet or anything like that, or did the bride throw a bouquet? How do you know? I didn't. I just took... Did you? I did. Now, that's supposed to mean that you would be the next of her friends... To be married, or...? Yeah, the next person in the world. Is that it? <laughs> is there any truth to that? To I mean, be married. Any, I don't that? know. Let's see. It was June 3rd, so... Uh, got a little time, yeah? I have some time. Did you try to catch it, or did it just... She went like this. Did she come up and just put it there and say, <laughs> time for you to get married, kid? And, you know, I was embarrassed or not. Yeah, I think she was telling me something. Okay, let me take this break, and we're coming back. Stay where you are. <laughs> and you're saying...